Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're gonna discuss some physics. So, with medicine ball throws, where does all the force come from? We think about medicine ball throws as an upper body exercise, right? I need that stiffness in my chest, and I need that straightening in my arm to really pitch that ball, to really push it away from me. And some of that is true. We definitely need that because if I didn't have that stability up top, as I went to throw the ball, it would just stay there, right? It would stay behind and I need to be able to overcome it and push through it. But medicine balls are actually a lower body exercise. All that force has to start from the ground. The thing that makes you quick is being able to transition it. So I get it started at my heel and I get a nice whip, a nice turn in my hips first and then my shoulders kind of like lag behind and then follow through with it. And it, everything turns and cracks like a whip almost. Um, and to, you know, that whip goes all the way out to the arm. So if I don't have strength here, to throw through, to stabilize while I'm getting that, you know, max speed from my lower body, then I'm not gonna be able to overcome whatever movement I need to do, if, whether it's a punch and I make contact with somebody um, and I need to be able to overcome their face or whether it's a medicine ball that I'm throwing or, you know, whether it's a jump that I'm trying to do or a slap shot in hockey. All of that stuff does require that upper body strength, but it will help you think about, it will help you perform it better if you think about how all of this stuff has to originate at the ground. If you can get a nice hip drive as you go through these movements, then you're going to, you know, not only get stronger and faster and everything, but you're performance is going to go up. Whatever that measure is for you, whether it's, you know, whether you have a medicine ball that tells you how fast you throw it, whether you're using a Kaiser machine and a cable and you're just whipping and you're trying to get that peak power output higher than all your friends, or whether it's a legitimate um, sports kind of competition, whether you want to, you know, get an extra mile an hour on your fastball or whether another extra mile an hour on your slap shot or your wrist shot in hockey. If you understand that the force comes from the ground, then you'll know how to train.